What's up guys? I am Wakaila, uh, here again with another entry in music you should be listening to. Uh, let's get started. Today, we're gonna be talking about the song American Problem by Kevin Abstract. For those who don't recognize the name Kevin Abstract, uh, he's also a member of the boy band uh, Brockhampton. Um, so you might recognize that. Uh, he's like kind of the ringleader. This song is awesome primarily because I can't understand what in the world is going on with this song. I, I, there's this part at the end and I just don't get it. We're gonna talk about it. The beginning is pretty standard for Kevin Abstract. It sounds like something Kevin Abstract would put out. It feels kind of off right from the beginning. Like you like the chords never feel quite full enough and like the drums don't really fit in with what they're talking about the right way. Like it just feels kind of, it's almost unsettling. Like the choices that they make with the music and the, what they're saying and the melody. Like it's very, it's almost bare bones at some points and other times there are huge swells of sound and you just can't really tell what's, what's happening. The lyrics are very frustrated. Kevin is definitely talking about some kind of frustration that he has with something, but we can't, exactly tell what he's talking about for pretty much the entirety of the first part. And then, my favorite part, you can hear it right now, my favorite part kicks in, and there's this like this really amazing interlude, like devolution part, that's amazing. It's one of the coolest things I've ever heard in like any song ever. The biggest part of why it's so cool, like, you know, there are parts where that have, there are songs that have regular verses that go into raps all the time, but, those are usually very like cut and dry like something ends and then the rap comes in but here there's an entire entire both beat and emotion shift but it still feels like the same song like it's not like some kind of combination of songs it's just like something that they're doing when they're fading in the this new beat the one that's Ooh, oh my god it's so good this new beat right that comes in on top of the on top of the old song feels like it fits perfectly even though they're like fade they're just it, they're really just like fading one in and fading one out and i'm not sure how they're doing this i'm not sure how the i'm not sure how he did that i'm not sure how he made it feel like like it's part of the same song like nothing's really happening but then there's just this change and it's it's a it's a dramatic dramatic mood shift from frustrated to angry right like he sounds he sounds like upset about something, right? Like the first, his first line, he says, I'm stuck, right? And so saying you're stuck, like, very negative connotation right from the beginning. Whereas like the first part is definitely like hopeful, like, could you do this? Like, would you do this? But this is, I'm stuck and like talking about how everything's wrong. And it's, it feels like it all feels, it all mixes together perfectly, right? Like exactly what was missing from that first part that made it feel off is brought together with the end part of this this rap that he goes he goes hard on and he's and it's amazing this song is so cool um it's a hundred percent a banger uh it's a hundred percent in my library and it's definitely something that you should be listening to as soon as possible you should definitely check this out real quick once again i'm wakaila i'll catch y'all later